Hi everyone, welcome to another video on Comtia A Plus Core 2 series. This is uh, video 6 in this series. In this video, we will study the operating system including Windows and Mac OS, their installation, partitions, and other stuff. So, let's get started with the question. So, question number one in today's video is that what is the name of an operating system installation type? that preserves system settings, personal files and applications from the older OS version. And the options are clean install, in place upgrade, unattended installation and image deployment. And the correct option is in place upgrade. Question number two is which of the following replaced removable media used for reformatting storage drives and restoring an operating system to the original factory condition. And the options are primary partition, extended partition, system partition, and recovery partition. And the correct option is recovery partition. So this partition is used to restore the operating system to its original or factory default condition when there is some issue or some problem with the operating system. Question number three is that a type of Windows installation that erases the entire contents of a target partition is called and the options are refresh, clean install, in place upgrade and repair installation. And the correct answer, uh, answer is clean install. So the clean install erases the entire content of the target partition and install a clean and new operating system. Question number four is that Windows repair installation. And we have to select three answers and the options are that window repair installation, it modifies application configuration settings. It does not affect user applications. It removes user files. It preserves application configuration settings it removes user applications and it does not affect user files and the correct options are that it does not affect user applications it preserves the configuration it preserves the application configuration settings and it does not affect the user files question number five is that which of the following enable installation of an OS via network interface. We have to select two answers and the options are GPT, DiskPort, NetBoot, PXE and GP Update. And the correct options are NetBoot and PXE. So these two options allow to upgrade or install uh, an operating system using a a network interface. Question number six is that devices that are not detected during the operating system installation process might require loading alternate third-party drives drivers and the options are whether this statement is true or false and the correct option is yes this statement is true. Question number seven is that which of the sources listed below a law for obtaining, installing and updating device drivers used by Microsoft Windows operating systems. And we have to select three answers in the options are Windows Update, Computer Management Utility, Device Manufacturer, Microsoft Store and Windows Device Manager Utility. And the correct options are that the Windows Update, Device Manufacturer, and Windows Device Manager Utility. Using these uh, three options, you can obtain, install, and update the device drivers inside Microsoft operating system. Question number eight is that what are the advantages of organizing storage drive space into multiple partitions? And we have to select three answers. And the options are multi-boot environment, Option 2 is separated disk space used for virtual memory. Option 3 is preventive measure against drive failures. Option 4 is separation of user files from the operating system and application files. 
And the fifth and last option is the increased overall disk storage space available for user data. And the correct answers are that it gives a multi-boot environment and it separates disk space used for virtual memory or it gives you a separated disk space that you can use for virtual memory and it provides the separation of user files from the operating system and application files. Question number nine is that which of the following answers refers to a unique string of characters used to identify hardware, software and data? And the options are OID, GUID, URI and OUI. And the correct option is GUID. Question number 10 is which of the answers listed below describe the characteristics of the MBR partition style and we have to select three answers and the options are legacy BIOS option 2 is up to 128 primary partitions option 3 is maximum disk space maximum disk size limit of 2 terabyte option 4 is overall number of partitions limited to 4 option number 5 is support for disk larger than 2 terabyte and the last option is UEFI BIOS and the correct options are legacy BIOS maximum disk size limit of 2 terabyte and overall number of partitions limited to Four. Question number 11 is that which of the following answers refer to GPT and we have to select three answers and the options are support for disk larger than 2 terabyte, option number 2 is overall number of partitions limited to 4, option 3 is legacy bias, option Four is up to 128 primary partitions. Option five is UEFI BIOS. And the last and sixth option is maximum disk size limit of two terabyte. And the correct three options are support, support for disk larger than two terabyte, up to one to eight primary partitions and UEFI BIOS. Question number 12 is in GPT disk architecture each partition is labeled with a unique identifier known as GUID. And we have two options whether the statement is true or false and the correct option is true. Yes, this statement is true. Question number 13 is that a list of computer hardware proven to be compatible with a particular OS is referred to as options are CRL, HCL, PRL and HAL and the correct option is HCL. Question number 14 is which of the answers listed below refers to a file extension used in macOS for a file that contains an exact copy of the contents of a storage device and the options are .dmg, .pkg, .app and .pfx and the correct option is .dmg. Question number 15 is which of the following answers refer to a macOS application installer file? And the options are .exe, .app, .pkg and .dmg. And the correct option is .pkg. Question number 16 is that which location in macOS provides access to application updates menu? And the options are Explorer, App Store, iCloud and Spotlight. And the correct option is the App Store. 
Question number 17 is which of the answers listed below refers to an SSO solution for all Apple's product and services? And the options are Secure Enclave, Apple ID, Sign in with Apple, and Gatekeeper. And the correct option is Apple ID. The Apple uh, iPhone user must already know the answer. And they use the Apple ID for all the Apple services. Question number 18 is that managed app managed Apple ID is an account management solution that allows system administrators to disable certain features of Apple devices used by employees in a business environment. And we have two options whether this statement is true or false and the correct option is true. Yes, this statement is true. Question number 19 is that which of the following macOS features allows to create switchable desktop environment? And the options are spaces, personalization, display, and arrow. And the correct option is spaces. Question number 20 is that the time machine is a built-in backup utility for options are Linux, macOS, Windows, or other. And the correct option is macOS. Question number 21 is that a macOS system feature providing single screen thumbnail preview of all open windows and applications is known as options are spotlight, mission control, screen sharing, and desktop windows manager. And the correct option is mission control. Uh, so that's all for today video. I hope you have learned something from today video. If you haven't subscribed, so please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you all and bye.